welcome everyone. It's Rachel from Bonnie Bubbles and I'm so glad you're joining me today. We're making a fun little soap. It's um, a lavender loofah soap. Uh, it was a special request I had when I was at the Sunday market from a customer and um, so I figured, you know what, I have a ton of loofahs at home. I'll post a picture here somewhere. I had bought, oh gosh, must be a year ago, I bought this big box of loofahs that were on a clearance sale and I can't remember right now where I got them from. Hopefully if I do recall I'll post it. But anyway, I had them and uh, so I, I cut them up here, got them all ready to go and I'm making a bigger batch so that once I get these loofahs filled up I'm going to do some loaf molds just without the loofah. So if somebody doesn't want the loofah in there, I'll have just the regular lavender soap. So I'm using, uh, so it's a seven pound batch I'm doing right now. So here's my essential oil lavender. We're using coconut milk. I've got sodium lactate sitting in there too. And uh, colloidal oat flour. And I'm going to leave the batch natural color, but I'm going to put the uh, hoba beads in there and I have a mixture here of blue and lavender color. So that should be fine. So what I'm going to do right now, because my lye is still a bit hot, I'm going to just add my oats to my coconut milk to kind of soak, soak up a little bit. And I'll give them a buzz. And then I'll leave them sit while my stuff cools down. So I'll grab my recipe in a minute to give you the run down what's in there. Oops, I'm making a mess with this. I only made loofah soaks once. That was also for a customer special request, and I totally forgot that I had them. So somebody else brought it up and said, why am I not using up all my loofah sponges? I have so many. So. It's going to buzz this up. It might make a mess. We shall see. I better move some things out of the way. I just normally, often when I'm making my videos, you'll notice I, I put my milks and my additives, like my colloidal oats, if it's going in there. Any of my additives, I normally leave sit in my oils for a while, while I'm waiting for my lye to sit. But today I just didn't do it that way, so I'm just going to buzz it up here in front of you and hope for the best. Just like to leave it sit to make sure there's not going to be too much in the chunky, chunky business stuff here. There's no silk in my lye. This one's more of a vegan recipe. So just coconut milk opposed to any other milks. Looks like it's nice and creamy now. Now I'll just pour it into my oils and leave it sit there. I'm actually using this spatula for the first time. I just got them in from Steph's Micas. Steph's Micas and more. 
and I really like them. She has the, uh, there's this one, and then there's the little baby version of it, little shorter version. They're really nice, actually. It's all one piece. They're nice and firm, but not too firm. There's still some flexibility there. Okay, enough of that. That'll sit there for a while. I'll mix it back up again later, and we'll be back when my lye is ready to go. Should be good to go now. My temps are in the 80s, and let's see. Get my sheet here. So we have olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, castor oil, mango butter, uh, palm kernel, and avocado oil. And then our coconut milk, colloidal oats, and uh, sodium lactate in there. That's that. Spice this up a little bit. Oops, I forgot to take the lid off my lavender. So again, this is a seven pound batch. And I'm just going to transfer this into a pitcher afterwards so I can have better control of the pouring. I want to emulsify it for now. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna pour the uh, this batter into a pitcher. I might blend it some more just to thicken it up so that the uh, jojoba beads will suspend in the batter. This is gonna be messy. Oh boy. Pour my loaf molds first so I can have some control pouring into the little loofahs. Yeah. I was going to scrape this. I'll fast forward or edit it out just so don't bore you with this part. Alright, I'm going to see if I can mix a little bit in here, the blender. I should have used my other blender, it has a longer um, shaft on it that would have fit perfectly in here. Good enough. Put 
the jojoba beads in there. Did I mention this is full? Smells so good. All right. Pour these two. Get that over with. Oh, this is heavy. Woo. And these are just going to have a plain top to them. Nothing more than that. I think I still have too much batter for my loofahs. Let me bang these out. Okay, so that's it. There's nothing more to that. Leaving the tops flat. And I have them on trays just to keep it stable so I can bang the air out. Now I have another mold on backup in case I still have extra. So you can see, okay. Start over here. And sometimes they tend to want to float up a little bit. I don't mind them sticking out of the soap. I think it looks kind of nice and very organic. So I'll give a rough pour for all of them now and then I'll go back and fill in where it needs more. getting thick right now too. This one, I'm going to put some soap in the bottom. Just flip it over. Some of these definitely need a flip. Some of my sponges are a little bigger. Flipping them over really ensures you're getting everywhere.
especially the air pockets. It's messy, but it works well. See how much all that sunk in. This one doesn't want to take much more soap. It's squishy. Past the mess, we're good. Try and give as much soap as I can. I think when that one's good just the way it is, go a little bit of the way. Maybe what I'll do, since I'm thickening up, I'll just change this up a little bit and put a little bit in the bottom of each one first. It'll help it go a little faster. back in the pool. Whoa! There. That'll help a little bit, I think. Whichever way you want to do it, you'll find your little comfy way of doing these. I might not have extra. I must have planned it just right, really. seemed like it was going to have more. My goodness, this smells good. Boy, did I make a mess of these molds. off a little bit, but there's not a whole lot I can do until it's time to unmold. Certainly don't look pretty right now, does it? <laughs> so there it is. Messy, messy, but beautiful, beautiful. All right, stay with me for the unmolding. Well, hello everybody. We're back with our loofah soaps and our loaf of lavender soap. I have a little bit of ashing going on, but I do tend to get it this time of year really bad more than anything. Um, they turned out nice. I'm happy with them. Still, I mean, the uh, translucent soaps always look prettier because you can see right through, whether it's the melt and pour or if you make your own translucent soap. But I'm quite happy. And some of the sides are poking a little bit and whatnot. It's no big deal. I do like the look when it's a little rustic and uneven like that to each their own. And uh, I'm just going to put this on the tripod and cut a few slices of the loaf of soap for you. Be right back. So I'll start with one loaf here. And I'm just going to... Uh, cut a couple slices off simply because it's the same soap throughout. Now I use the jojoba beads in here and 
I used a teaspoon per pound. However, half a teaspoon per pound will work as well. Anywhere in between seems to work just fine. Depends on how much you like in your soap. Try and get you close in there. So it adds a very, very gentle and mild exfoliation. It smells heavenly in here right now. I'm cutting this a couple days after it being made. Just couldn't get to it. Had so many errands to do, including going to get a new passport photo. That's always fun. So I think it's quite nice. It's very simple and pretty. So I'll just leave it at that for the cutting. And again, I'll show you the loofah. And my husband cuts them for me. You can order them pre-cut, but you know, uh, I imagine maybe some companies would take certain size specs, I really don't know. But he uses uh, a bread knife to cut them because they are very difficult to cut with scissors or anything like that. And uh, the bread knife seems to cut through them really nice and you cut through them when they're dry, not wet. So if you're having trouble, you can give that a test. He's got a really nice sharp bread knife. <clears throat> and frog my throat. It's morning, I haven't finished my coffee yet. So my voice is a little rough. So there they are. I'll clean them up a little bit better, but they're not going to change a whole lot from what they are now. I didn't unmold them on the camera because it's just going to add an extra 5-10 minutes onto our video. So, that is it. And they're lovely soaps. So a few of them are spoken for when they're ready. I'll post the rest in the store. But I really like them. Let's see, get as close as I can here. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And the sides, some of the sides get poking through. They're not perfect, which is the whole thing about these soaps. They have that nice organic look. But they do the job. Alright, so thanks for watching everybody. Love you all, and we'll be back with another video soon. Bye-bye.